Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the L's of GMS. Also, salutations to all the Akim out there that's placing this truth. And also, Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect. And, uh, and as you can see, all right, uh, the chariots is back in the news, all right. Esau call them UFOs or UAPs now, right? But that's not the name for them, all right. When you go into the scriptures, let's, uh, let's go into the scriptures real quick, then we're gonna get back to this video, okay, and get right back to that video. And it came to pass, all right. This is Kings, uh, Second Kings two, and one. I'm gonna start from one. It says, and it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind. All right. Oh, well, that's your reminder of what Isaiah sixty six and uh fifteen. All right. It says that Elijah went. That Elijah went with Elisha to Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Terry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. Elijah said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and it, it, as the Lord liveth, as as thou so liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. All right. It says the sons of the prophets that were there at Bethel came forth to Elisha to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thou master, thou head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. All right. It says, Oh, so so that so that let lets you know right there, all right, those uh 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 chariots, all right, they're vehicles of uh salvation, all right. Cause they got Elisha or where well, they got Elijah up out of here, all right. The Lord got him up got him got him um out of out of out of the world then. Okay. It says uh Okay, verse six. And, El and Elijah said unto him, "Terry, I pray thee here, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan." And he said, "As the Lord liveth, and as thou so liveth, I will not leave thee." And they too went on, and fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off, and they and they stood too by Jordan. Right? Hey, that. Hey, <laughs> And it let you know, man. Hey, hey, the man of the Lord was uh spiritual, man. Hey, some of us was was uh, probably there, you know. We probably actually seen that seen that event right there, you know. This is a great event right here. The man of the Lord actually seeing the seeing the chariots. And uh, verse eight, and and Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And there were divided hither. And thither, so that so that they too went over the dry ground, right? Show you the prophets have powers, and it came to pass when they were going over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, "Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee." And Elisha said, "I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me." And he said, "Thou hast asked a hard thing, nevertheless." If thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be. And it came came to pass as they went on and talked and talked that behold there appeared a chariot of fire, you see? And the horses and the horses of fire parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. You see? So that's what those vehicles are. They are the chariots of Israel. All right? And the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more, and took hold of his clothes and rent them into two places. So that lets you know right there. All right? Those vehicles, what they see, those are actually the chariots of the Most High. All right? And they can they can um blend in with things. They don't, you know they can um change, uh change shapes. You know, they can move at the uh, speed of sound. You know, those are heavenly vehicles. Okay, so let's go back to this video right here. So like you, what do you, what believe? Do you believe? Right, we gonna go ahead and let them play some of this video. 
and this is from November 13th, 2024. Okay, turn that down a little. UAPs, UAPs could be could or are. Right, and you can see they call them what? UAPs now. We're going to look that word up. Strong, Strong evidence, evidence that they are non human, non-human higher, intelligence. higher intelligence. I echo, I echo uh, my, uh, my colleague's comments, sir. Genuinely, Genuinely do, not do not know. Don't know, Don't but, know we but we must find out. find out. Do you believe, you just for the just record, for the record that, that um, the federal, the federal government, government, any part of the federal, federal government, government, is knowingly concealing evidence about UAPs from the public? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One hundred percent. Yes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Elizondo, in regards to these aircraft being piloted by whatever they might be non-human biologics, are you? Would you agree that it's likely that they are being piloted by some mind-body connection? Ma'am, I think it is safe to presume here that. that the- and look, they look scared, man. Them, it's like they, they're, they, they scared to even speak on these things. Look at the look, and look at the, at the, at the uh, seriousness, you know, in these uh, people, uh, manner, in, in their manners, man, you know, in, in their mannerisms, you know. Look at them. They are being intelligently controlled because they, some cases seem to anticipate uh, our maneuvers, and in other cases they seem to. Um, and I, I came across an email where the word stalked was used in a, uh, in a very secure email between Navy officers discussing their ships uh, being pursued by a UAP. In our previous panel, we had Grush, and he had testified to say that some of these were interdimensional beings. Can you speak on that at all? Um, the human body can withstand about 9G forces for a short period of time before you suffer negative biological consequences, blackouts and ultimately redouts and even death. Comparison, our best technology, the F-16, which is one of its older platform, but one of our most highly maneuverable aircraft, manned aircraft, can perform about 17 or 18 G-forces before you start having structural failure, meaning that the airframe begins to disintegrate when you're flying. The vehicles we're, we're talking about are performing in excess of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 Gs. <laughs> so, look, ain't no messing with the chariots, bro. Ain't no messing with the chariots, right? Now, here goes another video, right? And we're going to look up that word, too. All right, this is an, another video, right? <laughs> like you said, the chariots is uh, is uh, stalking them, man. You know, so let's check this out. Triangular formation come right around MH370. And zoom right here. Wait, here, there's the second one. And here, the third UFO comes in. And then you'll watch as then, of course, using this um, etheric energy, the zero point technologies, make the craft disappear. And so the United States government is responsible for this. Watch as the, the, then the airliner disappears. Um, right, right, right here. I believe. Oh, right after this cloud. Watch. Here we go. Here we go. This is an unbelievable video. And. It's been confirmed. confirmed. This is 10 year old video, video, by the way. way. Uh, Uh, There we go. go. Disappears. Disappears. And that aircraft, of course, gone. gone. So. And just like that, man. (laughs) And just like that, man. You see, people think the most has to be played with. Let's look up that word. Because they're not calling them uh, UAPs, I mean, UFOs anymore. All right? They're calling them uh, 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 UAPs, right? Which honestly, I kind of like that 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 name better, you know. Put some put some respect on it, devil. It says uh, a unidentified flying object, right? UFO or an unidentified anonymous anonymous phenomenon. All right, let's look up that word anonymous real quick. Right. It says deviating from what the standard or normal and expected. You see, so it's something out of this world, man. Irregular, freak, freakish, bizarre, unusual, inconsistent. So, it, <laughs> you know, which is scaring them because guess what? They can't control that, man. All right, or 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 there's something they can't fight against, right? That's why it says uh, in the book of Ezra, neither lifted up his hand yet. Uh, Man, it, I, I'm, I know I got to get it, <laughs> you know, because they can't mess with those chariots, man. It's something that's out of this world, you know, it's something heavily.
go to the book of Esther. Here we go. Right, like I said, the thirteenth chapter. We we'll try to get through it real quick. All right, and it came. This is a uh, second Esther thirteen to one. And it came to pass after seven days. I dreamed. I I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind. There there arose a wind from the sea that it move all the ways thereof and i behold lo that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven what is that talking about he waxed strong with the thousands of heaven uh uh let's grab a scripture real quick all right let's go to the book of psalms real quick what is what he waxed strong with the thousands of of, of heavens One second. All right, this is Psalms 68. And where do I want to start from? You can start from 16. It says, Why leap ye hills? It says, Why leap ye? Ye ye high hills. This is the hill which Yahweh desireth to dwell in. Yea, the Lord dwelleth in it forever. And that's talking about Israel. It says, The chariots of Yahweh are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord among them, as in Sana, as the holy place. So it what? It's talking about the chariots. That was the that was that that was what uh, the book of Ezra was uh, talking about. He waxed strong with the thousands of thousands. It's talking about the chariots. All right, is written, right? Every eye shall see him. All right, rather it's on, rather it's on TV, but also they're gonna cover the the, the heavens. Let's let's grab that too. We're gonna get back to that. Every eye to the Book of Revelations, real quick. Revelations one and seven. You know what? I was reading too. Yeah, okay. Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. You see? But what's the clouds? The chariots. But everybody is going to see Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? They're going to see the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. All right? You're going to see the you're gonna see the uh, King of, of Terror, man. Okay? You're going to see Yahweh Shai. It's written... Right in in the book of Isaiah, he said, "What I will not meet thee as a man," but this is him not meeting you as a man. Him coming in an angelic body, and those chariots, man. Him, oh man, <laughs> you know it's gonna be something like 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 out of a movie, something that you never seen before, you know. And and you know who gonna who gonna lose the so called white man, you know. If if you just seen you seen how he just scooped up that 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 plane man, you know. It speaks. Hold on, let's let's, let's get. We gonna hit some more chapter. It says, uh, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of him." Because you know why he coming with that destruction, man. All right, he gonna he gonna show him a little something. So let's go back to Revelations, the 12th chapter. Revelations 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven, right? So what is the heaven? It's talking about in the in the sky. All right. Because you know what, what uh leads what uh, lead, leads to this? Esau. You know what? Esau is trying to make chariots too. All right. Matter of fact, I got a little article that I'm holding on this real quick, right? And there was war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was there, neither was there, so, so like, and neither was there place found any more in heaven. You see, so Esau Edom is going to lose. All right, him and his fighter jets, or his his fake UFOs, what he what he's trying to uh, build. Guess what? It, it, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. All right. He's gonna get dismantled. And the great dragon was cast out, and the old serpent called the devil, and Satan. Who was that talking about? The so-called white man. 
which deceiveth the whole world. And he cast, and he cast out, he was cast out into the earth, and the angels were cast out with him, or him, him and his fighter jets. All right, is really describing a, a, a fight. All right, and them uh, uh, losing. So let's go to this right here. <laughs> This is an article I got. It says Pentagon reverse engineered non-human technology for decades. Whistleblower, you see, and you can see they kind of got a picture right there. Cause why? They're planning on fighting against Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's why it's written in the Book of Psalms. It says, "Why do the heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing?" Right. But also, when you read the book of Ex Exodus, it says, what? The Lord is the man of war. The Lord is his name. So he's allowing you to, you know, get this technology. So he, so you can put up some kind of fight, you know? But him to just crush that shit, you know? But he do like the, he, he's, he's, a, he's a power of war, all right? The Heavenly Father and his son like war, man. All right? It says, despite the constant debunking of ufo sightings skeptics and grifters claim that aliens have visited the earth and it, it, it's not aliens all right but he saw do got his thing where he's trying to make his own thing which if you heard the do on the video i just showed you you can't go that fast in those vehicles the human body cannot withstand that you have to be an angelic being all right for 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 your uh for your body to actually in 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 to actually endure the speed of a chariot, you know. The chariots have infinite speed, all right? You can't even measure that speed. It says, despite the constant debunking of UFO sightings, the skeptics and grifters claim that aliens have visited the earth in vehicles beyond human comprehension, but decided not to implode the planet to build an interstellar bypass. These so-called experts were again again given platform at Congress at the House oversight hearing on Wednesday titled Unidentified Anonymous Phenomenon Exposing the Truth. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we can get up out of this because I don't want to be. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't want to be uh, going off the deep end like that. So here we go. Right, It says, uh, just want to get right to the point. It says, the last time this group of the former Pentagon personnel visited Congress in 2023, the former Air Force Intelligence Officer David Grush claimed that the United States covertly recovered vehicles of non-human origins for decades. Look, the chariots don't crash, all right? And if it did, it, it guess what? It, it wouldn't even hurt it, or they did it on purpose. The chariots go through the goddamn ground or, or, you know, or fucking go through the water, you know? Those things are indestructible, okay? So what was Esau doing? He was he was trying to make his own vehicles because why he's trying to what fight against the heavenly father and his son. He stated the efforts were part of an arms race against America's rivals to reverse engineer the exotic machines. But he didn't mention in these efforts were successful. The Pentagon stated earlier this year that they have found no evidence of, of alien technology. Exactly. It's because the because the, the uh, technology what they what they do have they're trying to mimic on what they seen on uh, cameras, you know, just like I just showed you the uh, the plane, you know, they're trying to mimic those things. But guess what? It ain't gonna happen. The headline expert Wednesday hearing was uh, Louise Elizondo, the former head of the Pentagon's the Function Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Groose was also part of the UAP task force. <laughs> the task force for the angels. That's crazy. All right. It says, uh, Elizondo comments fell into line that previous hearing emphasizes that we are in the midst of a 
multi-decade secretive arms race, he claimed. Which, look, it's a waste of time, all right? You're going to be destroyed. All right, so we're going to get up out of there. And let's go back to the book of Esdras real quick. Uh, right, 2nd Esdras 13 chapter. And we could just really end it, you know, after this chapter. But I might grab one more scripture, a couple more scriptures. It says, uh, Behold, lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. And when soever the voice went out of his mouth, all they, all they burned that heard his voice. I guess the earth fell off when it fell off the fire, right? And after this, I beheld, lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. See, I just quoted this song. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing, man. <laughs> you think you're going to beat Yahweh Shai? You think you're a match for Yahweh Shai? And I beheld, lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him was sore afraid, yet durst fight, right? Because that's going to be something that's out of this world, man. But yet they're going to have to try to fight it, you know? When you see a chariot so big... <laughs> yeah, you gonna know that you gonna know the government didn't didn't um didn't didn't um make make, make that you know. That's when you gonna know hey shit done got real. All this shit with y'all shooting guns and rockets and all the Lord's gonna show you some some real shit, okay. And I don't mean shit, but he gonna show you <laughs> he gonna show you how to really get down, man. You know, he gonna show you ain't no match. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue that cast out sparks and tempests. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, the great tempest fell upon, fell with the violence upon the multitude, which were prepared to fight and burned them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, only but dust and smell of smoke. And when I saw this, I was afraid. You see, he's seen a destruction of Esau and these other nations. All their uh uh all their militaries, man. All right. It's written in the book Isaiah say the Lord muster of the host of the battle. Really, all you nations, look, the Lord is look, he's bringing World War Three to, but really he's bringing you there to 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 fucking destroy you, man. You know? Bring you bring bring all you nations down, man. All right? It's written Isaiah 66 and 15. And we're gonna stop right there. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 66 and 15. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord cometh with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with the flames and fire. For by fire and by the sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that's how the Lord is going to deal with you. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the elders of GMS, also salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth, and also Shalom to the rest of the hopeful elect.